When you're working with AI, it's important to follow a process to run your project from the beginning, from choosing the right situation until the end when you are measured the value from your project. I will present you a process based on some important methodologies and I call him the AI cycle and you will understand at the end why this is a cycle. The first phase in this process, I think you can imagine, yes? What do you need to do when you start an AI project? The first phase is to define what is the situation? What is the problem or the opportunity that you want to work on and to apply AI to get value? Well, then this is the first action to define and to choose the situation that you want to work on to get some value. After you decide the situation that you will work, you have to understand the data that you will use. If you have data or not, what kind of data do you need to apply AI on to really get the value? If you don't have the data, well, maybe this is not the, the, the situation, the best situation to start. Maybe you have to find another one or you have to find other tools to help you to fix this problem or to get some value on top of a new opportunity. But if the situation is okay and you have the, the right data to understand the data and probably you, you can get that data, then it's okay. Then is the time to define a, a measure. How you will measure the value at the end of your project, okay? Defining the situation and the measure, those are the deliverables of this first phase, the situation phase. And who usually work in this uh, part of the project. Business professionals, business an analysts, data scientists, data analysts, the ones that understand the business, yes? Then you are ready to move to the next phase and I call the next phase the data phase. What is the data phase? Well, the data phase is the process where you will, first of all, collect the data if you have the data in your in other data sets or in uh, databases in your company, uh, then you can just collect your data before you prepare it. But if you don't have data, maybe sometimes you have to, to acquire the data. Yes, you have to buy from data or even to get data uh, uh, outside your company, open data sets uh, from outside your company and combine the data that you have with data that you acquired or not. And this data, we call this, this is your raw data, the data that are the starting point for your project, your raw data. Then you will do a very important phase, the explore and analyze your data, exploratory data analysis, yes? During this phase, you try to understand your data, the fields, the information that you have there. Maybe you will prepare the first uh, visualization to, to get some insights in, in different ways if this is the right data to work on. Probably at that time, during this exploration uh, and analysis phase, you will discover that, that your data are a little messy and you have to clean uh, your data before you move on or even to transform some information in better information to use in the modeling phase. If you are working with supervised machine learning, you need data with labels. And maybe one step here in this phase is to put some labels, using people to put labels on that data and then prepare the data with labels to be used in the supervised machine learning algorithms in, in the next phase. When you conclude all this cleaning and transformation and labeling uh, uh, steps here in this phase, you will have your training data, yes? And before you go to the modeling phase, you usually divide the training data in three different data sets. The trained data sets, the validation data sets, and the test data sets. And in the next phase, you will understand why do you need to do that. Who are the ones that really work in this phase? Data engineers, data analysts, and data science are the ones that use the data, prepare the data, uh, understand and analyze the data before you move to the next phase, the modeling phase. Now you are ready 
to prepare your model yes and you you have the training data available divided in train validation and maybe test data sets and now you, it's time to choose the learning algorithm one or two or three uh, uh, different uh, techniques that we will use you can use classic machine learning uh, algorithms like uh, decision tree, random forest, support vector machines, logistic regression, linear regression, etc. But also you can decide it because your data, for example, is unstructured data, you can decide to use uh, neural networks and then you can choose the architecture of the neural networks if it will be a fully connected neural network, a convolution or a recurrent neural network. After that, you will define your hyperparameters, tune them and the architecture that we will use if we are talking about deep learning. When everything is ready, you will start the training phase to fit the model with the data that you prepare for the train data set. And then you will run and the learning algorithm will build your model. After that, you will evaluate your model in the validation data set and see if the accuracy, for example, is good or not, if the error uh, are high or no. You can see that here, for example, you can start maybe your first uh, model will have uh, an occurrence of 50%. This is low, this is not good and your error is very high. Then probably what we'll do, you will choose another uh, learning algorithm or you will tune, start to tune your hyperparameters uh, or change in your architecture to run again and train again the model and then evaluate again the model and you will see that probably your occurrence will increase and your error will decrease. This phase, this modeling phase, it's a very iterative phase, yes, and probably you will pass in all of these actions here more than once. Who are the ones that uh, really work in this phase? The machine learning, engineer and also the data science and you will run this phase until you you get an occurrence for example uh, this is just an example but if you are measure the performance of your model at this moment uh, using accuracy maybe you decided that when you reach 80 percent of accuracy that is the time to move your model to production and then you will end this modeling phase